A sting on the main line. An employee at a popular Radnor restaurant charged with selling something on the side. It was a drug bust. Weeks in the making, and tonight, more than one person is facing charges. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Dean. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live in Radnor Township with how police cracked this case. Greg. And Jessica Yuki, investigators say it was quite simple. They just walked into this Chipotle restaurant here in Radnor Township and asked one of the employees for a pot. In fact, this afternoon, undercover investigators were able to purchase a half a pound of marijuana from one of the employees for $975, we're told. And that was the last straw before this arrest. Radnor police say 22 year old Robert Lane worked at this Chipotle on Lancaster Avenue. But he was offering more than just chips and guac to some customers. There were employees here selling marijuana out of the store. Radnor Township Police Superintendent William Calarulo says that investigation began weeks ago. Court documents show undercover officers began purchasing marijuana from Lane in mid May. Today they came out here uh, with the intention of buying a significant amount of marijuana. That happens. Undercover officers arrested Lane with a half pound of pot on his person. Kadim Ahmed Schultz also arrested. Investigators say he's the driver of this Mazda and one of Lane's co conspirators. Our cameras also rolled as police arrested a third suspect at the Chipotle restaurant. We uh, were sitting, eating. At the time of the bust, Patty McNamara was having lunch in the packed restaurant. Next thing you know, there's a that side door open and there was a cop coming in waving his arm saying like everybody get out. Everyone left and then the arrests made. Township health inspectors also found drug paraphernalia in the bathroom toilet tank and numerous health code violations inside the restaurant. Our health inspectors are going through it. Uh, the conditions are not very good that we're finding right now. Uh, we think there are some serious health concerns. The employee would come out of the store with the marijuana on his person which indicates obviously that he had it on his person when he was handling food. Back here live, you can see this Chipotle restaurant is still closed. As you heard, numerous health code violations. Those will have to be rectified if and when this store is to be reopened. We're live here in Radnor Township. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Greg.